I didn't feel like starting this video. And I actually don't feel like recording most of my videos. The only time I feel like it is when I'm actually meeting with another person or a group of people. Then that interaction is natural. And But looking into the camera lens, that's not natural. Most of us didn't grow up with a camera in our face and practicing recording and speaking to the camera. So, but I know I do this because I have heard from some of you that it has been helpful. And so I keep showing up. And that's what I want to encourage you to do as well. To be strict about showing up and yet be lenient about the results. So let me explain. And this is the opposite of well, most of us did not grow up with the training that we can be lenient about the results. We said we got to be strict about showing up and then strict about the results. But what if we are strict about showing up, knowing that as long as we show up and exercise every act in my business, every act of creativity is a practice. It's like exercise. You show up. You build the muscles by doing whatever task or whatever creative thing or whatever administrative thing. You're building the muscles. And as you build your muscles and your skills, over time, if you show up consistently, the muscles and the skills will grow themselves naturally. And if you do that, then naturally, over time, your results will also improve. It might be imperceptible, but it will certainly improve over time. And be quite dramatic when you look back at a longer time frame. So that is really how I have been operating in my business for years. And it's made a profound change in my life and in my work. To be strict about showing up, especially when I don't feel like it, because I never feel like making these videos or I never feel like writing. Some of you actually enjoy writing and you are very blessed and lucky but I don't enjoy writing. I still don't. But I know that it can help people. So I show up and write anyway. I show up and wrestle with the words. Um, and whenever I feel self-doubt, whenever I catch myself feeling self-doubt and wanting to stop, I do my energy reboot practice. If you don't know what my energy reboot is, I have a video, an article about it. You can just Google energy reboot practice and you'll find my article and video about it so you can watch that and find out how i do it it's only 20 to 30 seconds i do it many times a day in any given hour i do it at least three times sometimes i do i have to do it every five to ten minutes because i catch myself doubt yet again and then i do my energy reboot practice which allows me to relax a bit and continue to play i said wrestle before right wrestle with the words i continue to wrestle yes but also play and just to, just to express, knowing that it's all going to be okay, and I'm doing this as an exercise, knowing that I'm building my skills, and over time, the results will get better. So I am strict about showing up. I am lenient about the results of this hour, knowing that over time, the results naturally get better, but I'm lenient about the results right now. And then there's a third part of the formula, which is to gently refocus again and again. So let me say that again. I am strict about showing up. I am lenient about the results in any given hour. And I gently refocus again and again and again. And by refocusing, what I mean is, why do I get distracted? I get distracted because I there's some resistance. There's some internal resistance or self-doubt about whatever work I'm doing. So that naturally I feel resistant and and because of you know any creative endeavor means that we're doing something we haven't done before exactly in that way so that's why there's resistance and self-doubt and and the self-doubt and resistance allows us makes us want to distract ourselves and do something else and that's where the gentle refocusing comes in i notice oh i want to do something else mm, that means i need to do my ng reboot again 20 seconds and then come back and just continue to wrestle and ideally play with whatever it is I'm doing, knowing I'm building my skills and muscles. So sadly, many people 
don't do this. And so they allow themselves to be distracted whenever they have some resistance. And so they just don't, aren't able to continue making progress on their life's work. But if you practice this formula, strict about showing up, lenient about the results, and gently refocusing again and again and again, you will find that you can accomplish anything in life. It's really amazing. It's so empowering. It's like some switch goes off in your brain. You realize, wow, I can accomplish anything and I can accomplish it in the timeline that, that is much shorter than if I keep resisting and, and putting things off. Strict about showing up, lenient about the results, gently refocusing again and again and again. Now, how do you get strict about showing up? Well, one tool that I use multiple times a day is Focusmate. F-O-C-U-S-M-A-T-E dot com. Focusmate dot com. I use this multiple I Today is a Friday. I'm recording this. And it's one of my shorter day work days. And still today, I am doing four hours of Focusmate on a shorter work day. On my longer work days, I do six hours of Focusmate, sometimes seven hours. It, it is so essential for me to, to, be, to help me show up on time. So I hope you'll give Focusmate at least three tries. I ask you, try it three times. So first time, sometimes doesn't work out. Some second time might not work out, but try it three times. If the third time it really doesn't work out, then that's okay. It wasn't meant for you. But try it three times. And people who have often tell me it's been life-changing. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. My name is George Cow, authentic business coach. I love to talk about joyful productivity authentic marketing, these kinds of things. So if this is helpful, uh, let me know uh, any questions or comments, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.